I didn't set you up in all this luxury just to have you walk out on me. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. I hope I'm happy to know you. What sentence do you least want to hear from your plastic surgeon? Plastic surgery at times seems to me to be very, very complicated. This is jailbait, and before you get excited... You know that gun is jailbait. No young girls here. Try our review of Satan's cheerleaders. Yeah, just the way he looks at me, I feel so dirty. This is the story of a doctor's son gone off the rails. How can a great doctor have such a jerk for a son? Who steals his father's gun. Is he feeling for the gun? Because if you can't see it, it's probably not there. Maybe you're right. The young man kills a security guard at a theatre. Although he may just be trying to put this show out of business. I'm making a picture called The Lion Tamer. The Lion Tamer? Uh -huh. Name of one kind of lion I'll mess with. What kind's that? Ooh, that's a dandy lion. <laughs> He's then killed by his partner. I don't like dead men cluttering up my place. On the face of it, this is below average film noir. Not the sort of thing that Dark Corners usually covers, and we wouldn't okay, except for really one thing. Down. Yes, we're back with Edward D. Wood Jr. What are you guys picking on me for? But this time there's no aliens or mad scientists, yeah, no Bella Lugosi or Tor Johnson, not even Criswell. What do I have to do, repeat myself all night? This is just a film noir, and from every objective standpoint, it's find? nowhere near as bad as Wood's better-known films. I just can't make up my mind to believe it. And yet I'd rather watch now. them. I don't quite understand. One thing we've always said about Ed Wood, he may be bad, but he's never boring. Sounds like a man I'd like to meet. Jailbait is boring. Shut up, you. And bad. Just not as bad as the bad films, but being boring makes it worse, despite not being as bad. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I probably could have expressed that better. He's got a tough, thankless job on his hands. The plot here is actually quite good. You're going to give me a completely new face. The problem is that everything that happens in the first 45 minutes feels like it should have happened in the first 15. Well, that'll be established later. Then the movie ends. Thank goodness I couldn't have taken much more of that. The plastic surgery twist, reminiscent of John Woo's face-off, right. is clever. It's foolproof. But incredibly predictable. I never thought it'd lead to this. And, to be honest, doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, maybe you're right. Of course I'm bloody right. Shut up, you. Nevertheless, this is probably Wood's best-made film. Not bad for a night's work, huh? I mean, obviously it's cheap. Cheap? Cheap. But the amusingly pretentious dialogue is kept to a minimum. Destiny is a strange and mysterious thing, my dear inspector. The only major continuity error is the scar on this man's forehead moving. No. Better wash that off and start again. And the only hilariously bad moment is the discovery of a corpse that's apparently being held up by a load-bearing curtain. Even Wood using his grocery delivery boy as the leading man isn't a complete disaster. I don't know why I joined you. But damn it all, that's why we watched! You hit the solution right on the head. This is like a Michael Bay film without explosions, a Peter Jackson film without digital effects, a Quentin Tarantino film without Samuel L. Jackson saying, Motherfucker! They may not make the films any better, but without them, seriously, what's left? Yeah, I guess you're right. We've seen lots of Ed Wood films that are bad, but this one is bad. Go ahead and say it, but change the word this time. The old record's getting a bit worn. Maybe we should start using another word. Shut up! This is Ed Wood's best and least entertaining film. Would you rather be mediocre and boring, or outright bad and legendary? Check out our other reviews, don't forget to subscribe, or you can follow us on Twitter at Dark Corners 3. What makes you think you're so important we'd want to follow you?